A mother in Garland thought her son had a simple ear infection, but he ended up getting rushed to the hospital to have emergency brain surgery. She just spoke with Adriana de Alba to let other parents know how this infection went horribly wrong. It was scary. It's not how a North Texas mom imagined summer break would end. He developed a horrible, horrible migraine. Her son Christopher had an earache that turned into a grueling headache. Nothing got better. Three days and two ER visits later. His whole eye was swollen, he couldn't even open it. He was transferred to Children's Medical Center in Dallas for what doctors say was a sinus infection. It was just a lot, a lot of pain. There's a reason behind all that pain. The sinus infection created an abscess or swollen lump behind his eye. Then the infection spread to his brain, causing a seizure. I had the seizure and when the doctors, I'd ask him if he was okay and they told me, we hope so, we're gonna do everything we can. I was very, very worried, very scared. Chris, an eighth grader, had to undergo multiple brain surgeries to drain the pus. The spread to your brain is pretty rare. Dr. Anam Dadwani is on the medical team that helped treat Chris. How dangerous could this have been? It could have been life-threatening. Um, you know, the mortality and morbidity of these infections that can spread to the brain is, is very high. So we're very glad that his mom brought him in when she did. Dr. Dadwani says parents should look out for symptoms like high fever, eye and forehead swelling, and pain during eye movement. I never thought in a million years that that was brewing behind him in his brain while he was having a headache. After seven days in the hospital, including the ICU, Chris is home. It's very serious, and he's still not really out of the woods yet, but we are praying. Praying for a full recovery. Just my hope is for him to be healthy and live a good life. Because she now knows how quickly things can change. In DFW, I'm Adriana Delb. And if you'd like to help Christopher and his family, we have posted a link to their GoFundMe account in Adriana's story at WFAA.com.